Hey, James here from Actura Technology and Content Snare. Now, I just thought I'd do a quick little video to show you how to sign up for Cloudways, which is our current uh, recommended hosting provider. It's not the most friendly sign up, I guess, for people who aren't super tech uh, tech heads. So I thought uh, by doing a video, it must, might make things a bit easier for you. Um, so hit the hit the sign up button. And all it's going to ask you for is an email and password. And one of the best things about Cloudways is you can actually run a server with these guys for 30 days for free with no credit cards. So you can test it out pretty quickly to see if it's going to work for you. Um, so yeah, stick in your email and password, hit start, I'll agree to the terms of service obviously, uh, hit start and it's going to send you an email where you'll activate your account and it's going to send you right back to the login page. And I've already done that. So I'm just going to go direct to this page here and log in. So the first thing you're going to see is this create new server page. Now, if, if you don't end up here for some reason, um, just go to servers and then it'll prompt you to create a new server. Um, so if you don't know what you're doing here, this is you know, going to be a little bit confusing. So I thought I'd just quickly run through. Now, most, most of us are going to be on WordPress. So when you pick your application, you're basically just going to pick WordPress or with WooCommerce if you're planning on running e-commerce. There's a lot of other different stuff you can run on here and it'll set up for you. But um, for now, we're just going to go with WordPress. Uh, call it, give it a name, uh, name the server. I normally just call it my main server or you know development server if that's what this is. And name your project. Um, I, your company name is probably the easiest to go there. Uh, now, now we're going to pick what company the physical server is going to live on. So Cloudways are actually just a platform that sit on top of some other companies' infrastructure, including Google, Amazon, uh, Volta, and DigitalOcean. Now, on the trial, you don't get access to everything. For example, uh, Amazon, you can't actually wind up the server to any, any bigger ones. But to be honest, uh, DigitalOcean and Volta are uh, the ones we use anyway. Pretty much all our servers are on DigitalOcean. And um, one gigabyte's usually enough. And the best part about this is uh, you can basically wind this server up later on if you find you're getting heavier traffic than normal. But for most small businesses, uh, one gigabyte's enough. If you've got a higher traffic server uh, site, you might want to ramp it up a bit more. So the only other thing we have to choose then is the location. So depending on where you are in the world, you might want to change this. So um, I'm going to choose Singapore. Uh, Volta have some other options as well. So thankfully with these two, that's the only option you need to pick is the size and where it is. So if you're in Australia, Volta do have a Sydney option uh, if you need that. And you can see the price down here is uh, displaying. So it's only a dollar difference between those two. Um, if you're getting into the more complex ones, you have to pick all kinds of stuff, uh, like database size and stuff. So to be honest, uh, DigitalOcean is probably your best bet, and then just pick a location and hit launch server. Now it's gonna go away and uh, start creating that server. It's gonna give you a little bit of a tour as well, so if you've got live chat with these guys, you can use the talk to us button down here. Um, oh, I lied, it's a 14 day trial, not 30, but that's enough to get a website uh, created in here. Uh, I'm going to hit pause on this and uh, come back when the server is ready. Actually, in the meantime, I'll have show you some other things as well. If you've got a team, um, the brilliance of, uh, of Cloudways is so you might be able to, you know, if you need multiple servers. If you want to run a, a website per server, you could fire up, you know, three or four different servers uh, and then give your team access based on um, what what they actually need. So you once you've given 
the details here, you can choose, you know, if, if you want them to have billing access, most likely not, or support, so they can access support directly. And when you tick console, you can either give them full access or limited access. So you could say only give them access to one specific server. It's not showing up yet because it's still being created. But let's say we had four websites on one server. You could say they only get access to these two websites, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, one thing that is worth noting on, um, on Cloudways is... Unlike a normal web server, you can't send email uh, from the server because it's a um, VPS hosting is generally, we just won't, yeah, any email end up in spam. So these guys don't even allow it to begin with. Um, so what you'll need to do is set up an SMTP add-on. And uh, to do that, you can just add it on here for free and subscribe under the add-on section and uh, I will show you how to set that up uh, shortly. The one, uh, the, the email system we prefer is called SendGrid. So if you just go to sendgrid.com, I'm not going to go through the sign-up process here. It's fairly simple. Uh, they do have a free tier at the time of recording this, so you can uh, just get started. And uh, choose a plan, which will be on your free tier. Uh, so if you just scroll down here and go to the try for free, no credit card, you'll just go through the sign up process. And what you'll get out of this uh, eventually is your email and password, which is what you'll need once uh, you're ready to go, once it's all set up. Uh, you'll need that to put back into the SMTP add-on in Cloudways. So I'm not going to run through this. I mean, it's fairly simple stuff. Uh, and I'm going to hit pause again. Okay, back over at SendGrid. I mean, Cloudways, now that uh, the server has finished uh, creating. So it's showing up here. Uh, we got a little switch to switch between servers and applications, but first I'm going to go ahead and set up the SendGrid add-on. Uh, skip the tour, we don't need that. You can watch it if you like. Um, just going to jump down to add-ons, enable the SMTP add-on here. You're going to pick SendGrid, put in your username and password, hit enable, that's it. Uh, and then you'll be set up for outgoing emails. Um, in another video, I'll probably show you the setup for SendGrid. There's a bit more advanced stuff like uh, changing things at your DNS, but that's actually done at SendGrid uh, just to help deliverability and stuff. But um, quick rundown of the servers. This is your username and password for um, SS, uh, sorry, SFTP or SSHing into your server. Um, so that's the details you or your web guy will need. Um, and you can set up backups as well automatically. So you can say, you know, I want to back up my server every six hours or one hour um, and keep them for however long, four weeks, for example. Um, you don't really need local backups unless you need to download them manually. Um, and that's, that should be about it. That's about it you'll need for now. Um, one thing worth noting is uh, by default, one of the best things about Cloudways is that it has uh, Varnish and uh, Memcache installed by default, which are two levels of caching that vastly improve the performance of your websites. So if this was a development server, uh, you might want to disable Varnish because you don't really want that cache to be there all the time. So you just hit disable and disable it at a server level. You can also do this at an application level. So I'll just jump over to that now. Um, so... We've got a URL here that it's created. And you'll see this is already a fully functioning WordPress website. And all we did was click one button to fire this up. You've got MySQL access. There's your uh, WordPress access there. Um, if you need to give this a domain, so let's, you know, let's say it's mywebsite.com, you'd add this in here. Uh, and then you all you have to do is point your DNS to to this address and your website is live. Um, 
Another good thing about Cloudways is that it's got uh, Let's Encrypt, which is free SSL. I'm not going to go into that here. just want to show you quickly through. Uh, if you've got those automated backups set up at the server level, you can actually do a application level uh, restore here. So you could re reload your website to a couple of days ago or um, you know a week ago, however long you've got it uh, set up for. Um, application settings. So what I, I always like to come in here and change the folder to something meaningful. So for example, I might change it to my website so that when you are using FTP to come into your um, website, you can see the folder name so it's not something unrecognizable like that. And this is also where you disable varnish. Uh, sorry, this is uh, rules to disable varnish on certain URLs. Um, I think, yeah, this is where you disable varnish at the application level. So if you just want to switch that off, uh, if this is a site that shouldn't be cached, you can turn that off there. And finally, another super cool uh, part of Cloudways is the WordPress migrator. So I won't run through this in this video, but it's actually a reverse migrator, I guess. So you're not you're not going to use it here to suck in the website. What you end up doing is installing the Migrator plugin on your existing WordPress website and pushing it to Cloudways. So um, I'll run over that in another video, but that's pretty much it. That's uh, all you need to know for now. And so that's how you get set up and get your first WordPress application installed on Cloudways. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.